<laughs> I'm feeling a little fiery right now. We have a lot to talk about. I originally took time off of YouTube because I, did, I felt so uninspired, but there's more to that story. But something that I was refusing to admit, which I'm gonna now, um, was that my job, my corporate job, you know, that cushy one um, with the benefits and stuff, uh, that was burning me out so much. And honestly, the more I look back on it, the more that this place like contributed so much to my mental and physical health. This is gonna be the epitome of a messy bun, but I'm here for it. I'm no longer at that job. Um, my position was eliminated and I received a severance. My dog is in the background currently destroying a toy. So if you hear that, ignore it. Ton of new makeup to try. I'm going to try and link everything down below for you. And we gotta talk. I never told you guys where I worked, even though it's a giant corporation. And I don't think I'm gonna be sharing that with you today because I guess I'm not feeling that fiery. Maybe in the future. Let's take it all the way back to January, shall we? So I um, came back to work after the break and I set boundaries, you know, with myself, um, with work, and they didn't like that, okay? So what I mean is that they didn't like it is they had critiques on every sort of boundary that I was setting. They as in my supervisor. What happened was last July, you know, my supervisor that was so highly praised by everyone in my department, oh, this person is so great, blah, 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 um, refused to give me constructive criticism until it came time for my review where every single thing was documented. I can't do the bun, it's gonna fall back and I'm gonna look bald. After calling this person out, um, things were quite rocky between us. Like, this person was like only a couple years older than me and definitely was some um, clashing. It almost felt like competing and my husband pointed it out as potential jealousy, which I'm not accusing this person of jealousy, but other people in my life were, including my therapist. Shout out to you. I need to start out with some makeup or I'm gonna be sitting here all day. All right, I don't have a new primer, so I'm just gonna use like Old Faithful. Yeah, and then my supervisor over here gets promoted to, how do I wanna describe this? Like, it almost seems like a BS role. You know those roles in corporate America where you're like, what the heck do you do all day? Yeah, that one. So, <laughs> I was really excited because I was getting a new supervisor. You know, I'm over here super pumped, right? I feel like with my new supervisor, I have like a lot more creative freedom in a sense. Like I felt like I wasn't being as like micromanaged and whatnot. So I, you know, I'm doing okay. And then I get in my car accident, right? Okay, so I'm using NYX Blur With Me found Bear With Me Blur Foundation. And then I'm gonna open the Say Glowy Super Gel. All the TikTok girlies are using this and I, I wanna use it too. But while I was gone, they took my main responsibility away so I could focus on this promotion. Now this promotion is going to come up a lot because this was something that was sort of like promissory estoppel. And if you don't know what that is, it's like promise without a contract, right? So it's like a verbal promise, which you're like really not supposed to do. But I was like, oh, I trust my HR team and they wouldn't do that to me. Girl, yes they would. You know, the one person on our team was like, well, you know, we're more than just coworkers, we're like family here. And my dumb ass bought into it, you know? My development plan suddenly gets paused because, oh, my supervisor doesn't have time for it and all that BS. And then, you know, when I ask about it, they're like, oh, you're being too eager. I need you to focus right where you are. And it was like, so my title, you know, I was a recruiter and I didn't have any recruitment responsibilities because they wanted me to focus on another HR role's responsibilities. I'm trying not to like get mad. So if you, I'm just gonna pause every once in a while um, because honestly, this is frustrating. And I called it from the beginning. I called it and I said, I don't think this is ever gonna happen. And I, I, I said that in, internally. 
and I think it really came true in I would say maybe March it just didn't feel right quarter one our company was on a spending freeze which is never a good sign if this helps <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna word this um, my company was heavily affected by the UAW strike, which if you're not in America, it's the United Union of Auto Workers strike. So these unions at the D3, which are Ford, Stellantis, and GM, they were um, striking, basically. Their unions were striking because they wanted more pay which in today's market, I do not blame them. And if I were there, I would be on the picket line with them. Okay, we're gonna go into the Fenty We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer. So yeah, we ran a, sp a spending freeze. Most of quarter three, all of quarter four, we had like a hiring freeze. And then quarter one comes around, you know, we're not hiring for all of the positions that we have open. And immediately I think, this is not good. When I, you know, asked about layoffs and whatnot, they said, oh, we would never let that happen. And I was like, okay. Obviously, I didn't fully trust it, and I'm really glad that I trusted my gut over someone else's flaky words because it was, it was worrying me. You know, why aren't we filling these positions that, like, you know, we really need? Is production really down that much? I worked in manufacturing, manufacturing parts, for the automotive industry specifically directly to the auto automotive manufacturer like companies like um ford Stellantis, all the european models all that stuff so we sold directly to these you know the the car brands basically i don't know how else to say it without <laughs> getting too specific they always were like we're a strong company if our division does well the entire segment does well and i was like yeah, that's awesome. We were the ones that often were getting the brunt of spending freeze, spending freeze, spending freeze. And it was like, at, after COVID, businesses everywhere, not just the automotive industry, were affected, right? I really like this concealer, by the way. <laughs> this is gold. Also, I hope you're in for a long video because I don't know how long this is gonna be, but I, I'm not gonna be rushing myself in the slightest. Okay, we're gonna go into the Physicians from the Butter Glow Contour Wand. So whenever I heard, you know, that our, you know, our business unit manager or group president would say like, you know, oh my God, a spending freeze. I always knew that was a bad sign and it, it worried me. Um, and I think, you know, I always, and I always was talked down of my worries. Like, oh, it's not a big deal. We do this all the time. And it's like really not a big deal. My the the company that i used to work for was very much if we they had this notion with like upper management if we like you we are going to do everything we can to keep you no matter what unfortunately i was not one of these favorites you know my company was known for creating new positions at the top of the hat of a hat um they were known to promote people who did not deserve to be promoted yes we'll get into that too everyone was a favorite in that freaking department but me I'm, i kid you not and it's like i felt like i was always second place no matter what i did i was always second place um someone that was forgotten there and for a bit there i was like maybe this is just like some sort of like men like trauma or whatever but you know what now that i think about it after leaving the company i get it i really really get it did not want me to be promoted for whatever reason but that reason was never provided to me flash forward when i'm damn filming this yesterday i come into work I feel like, I'm, you know, it's a good day. It's Tuesday. It's beautiful outside, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, we have our daily meeting. I am informed that our meeting is going to be pushed back about 10 minutes, which it, it sometimes happens, you know, in the hustle and bustle of the morning. So I just thought, oh, that's no problem. Like, I'm good. So then I so then another member of my team comes into my manager's office and slams the door. And I was like, is everything OK? Cause that's my first first thought is like oh my gosh is someone you know really sick 
at our plant. Whatever. Oh, I was gonna do liquid highlighter. We're still gonna do it. I have the Rare Beauty liquid highlighter. I haven't tried this yet. I got the shade Enlighten. And at about 10 minutes after, they open the door and I you know, come in like normal, sit at the conference room table, you know, whatever. And my manager's like printing stuff off and I'm like, okay, whatever. And she says, I have very important news to, sh I have a very important information to share with you. And I was like, okay. I work in HR. There's a lot of important information. And then she proceeds to tell me that my position has been eliminated and my last day of employment is today. Let's kind of like recap here. So after putting me on a development plan, giving me all these extra responsibilities with no extra pay, by the way, no extra pay and all of that, you're here to tell me that I no longer have a job after everything I did for y'all, like, come on. And I know there are other people that may or may not be in the same department as me who have BS jobs. And it's like, oh, but they're praised and promoted and everything because they're like a favorite. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. This is actually, I actually um, got a refund and a, like sent a new one from Ulta because the first one I got literally came shattered. <laughs> Got over everything like I have one of my Colourpop things I'm gonna try like just covered in bronzer and it, I was like Really like What's going on? I saw they came out with blushes. I'm super excited about this I have the shade deserve butter cuz I deserve butter. I deserve better and I at first I was distraught because I was like are you kidding me after telling me you know, they don't lay off people. And so for me, it was like, well, you know, after so-and-so's promotion, we evaluated the entire aid, uh, entire team. And it was like, I'm sure everybody else is staying but me, right? Because you know what? That's just how it goes with them. The management of that department, that's how it goes. That's really pretty, by the way. They made me sign some shit, like whatever. And I got a severance, which, you know, honestly, like, thank you for the severance um, while I find a job in this terrible job market. But I'm confident I will. I think I'm, you know, I think I'm really good at that. They also gave me this, like, total, excuse my swearing in this video, this total bullshit consulting firm to, like, help me, like, design a resume. And I'm like, I don't need to design a effing resume, okay? I need a recruiter. And so actually what prompted me to press play on this video was that that man called me and he was like, oh, you know, so-and-so company. It's like, I don't wanna like use anything in support of the company anymore. Like I'm, I'm not into it. And so I have two rare beauty blushes. I got the two of the luminous powder blushes. I think I wanna use happy, it's more pink. Ah, oh, it's so shiny, I'm so excited. Um, I was actually having a really good day, which I'll get into as well. <laughs> this man called me and he's like, oh, I've helped many HR people. And I'm like, Ooh. I told him flat out, I don't want your help. And because I don't, I have a nice friend of mine who is a recruiter at an agency and they, she's gonna help me out. So it's like, I don't need your help, sir. So, and he's like, I only report back to the to the company if you're using it or not. And I'm like, well, you can report back that I'm not gonna be using it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try a lip balm. Lula Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment in the shade Strawberry Sorbet. I've been really wanting to get my hands on this. It's a little sticky, I'm not gonna lie. Loving the blush, everything about this. So, I go in back to my office, pack up my shit, like I'm ready to leave. And my, my boss comes in, she's like, can I give you a hug? I'm like, <sighs> in my head, of course, you know, I think of things a lot worse to say. And it's like, if it were maybe <laughs> the team favorite, um, my manager would have done anything in their power to make them stay. But if it's with me, absolutely not like kick rocks, you know? You have the audacity to get, ask if you can give me a hug? If you cared even a tiny bit, you would have advocated for me. And I knew right then and there that this, this manager does not advocate for everyone equally, which is not fair. 
So, not only did she deliver this information in front of my third team member who's at our location, my manager asks if she can give me a hug, which I say absolutely not, do not touch me. Um, I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I have the shade Pretty Pearls with a Z. <laughs> so this is so cute, by the way. So I basically like leave. I'm like, F this place. I've, the amount of time I have dedicated to that organization for them to do that to me is outrageous. Oh, it's so pretty. As someone who has graduated therapy, I'm very proud of myself for that. The first place I go, and then, you know, I'm like booking it. I'm like, F this place. I'm not gonna say the F word. I do say it in my personal life. So if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. But I, you know, in my head, I'm like, F this place. Like, I am so done. I am not giving anybody on my team a moment more of my time. I don't care who you are or what you meant to me. I'm not going to give you a moment of my time anymore. And I was just like, Anna, wait. And I was like, I, I turned to this person. I was like, what? You know, trying to say professional, but also not speaking in the most professional of tones. <laughs> And my manager goes, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, what are you insinuating here? Are you insinuating that I'm like mentally unstable? Are you insinuating that, like, what? You don't want me to like get in a car accident or anything? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I leave and I said, whatever. I don't want to hear from you anymore. And I left. And I'm happy about that. Okay, so I got in my car. She's... My manager is literally watching me get in my car and drive away. So the first place I go, I drive like a mile down the road to my therapist, um, who I no longer see. And I said, I came in, it's at a medical facility, so I say I need to see so-and-so. Apparently, my <laughs> I love my therapist. I loved working with her. She was amazing. She's out till on uh, medical leave until July. And I'm like, that bitch. Like, how dare she go on medical leave? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, she had to do it. A big deal. So at this time I'm having a panic attack. Shoot, I don't want to get emotional. I'm not, I'm I'm really trying not to get emotional here. And I hope you guys respect that. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil. But I'm really going <laughs> I'm really going through a hard time right now because I feel like I'm processing so much information. I'm going to fill my brows that I don't cry. <laughs> One of the most amazing nurses at that, at that little clinic pulls me back and she just listens to me. She listens to me process these emotions in real time. And she sits there and she's just holding my hand and is what exactly what I needed. So I set up an appointment with my medical doctor for the end of the week and that's that. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for that woman because I had a couple ideas of where I was going to go because my first thought was I didn't want to go right home because I didn't really want to be alone. I think in situations like that, if you've ever kind of been in a really emotional, distressing situation, if it were me, I knew I would go in spiral at home. And so I ended up calling my mom too. And I, I called and I told her everything that happened. Oh, by the way, I didn't even get to pack up my office. I know. So, okay, we're gonna go into Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. I'm so excited to try this. I only got the mini because I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I don't know. And, ooh, that is fancy. Look at that. So I, you know, go in my car and I call my mom. Cause Logan is a teacher, as I've told you guys before. And this semester he has a different schedule. So he doesn't get like a break until like 1 p.m. And it was like 9 a.m. at the time. So I, the first thing I did, I texted Logan. I said, I need you to call me. This is an emergency and he doesn't check his phone during the day. And I did not want to call him at the school because I also did not want to put him into any sort of distress. And so he gave me a call around the one o'clock hour. It's actually really nice. I like that brow gel a lot. My mom and you know, I'm crying and I just know that I can, you know, that I, even if it just means like her being on the phone with me, I knew that I was gonna be okay. 
So I called her and I told her, she's like, I'm on my way home now. I come home and I'm gonna spend time with you. And we stayed at her house all day. You know, my mom was doing stuff around the house, but just knowing that I had her there meant a lot to me. So in the meantime, I wanna go into some So Juicy Plumping Gloss Balms. I have the shades Vacay Mode and Guava Glaze. As you could tell, one of them got bronzer exploded on it in shipping. Thank you, USPS. You're the bomb. These are supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja products. So I don't have an eyeshadow palette either. So I think I'm just gonna pull one out and I'm just gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna do pink. I'm in a pink mood. So I'm gonna use the shade Guava Glaze. And these click up. They're like kind of like a cheaper packaging, of course, than Tarte, but these are like 10 bucks. So. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm in love. I'm in love. I need them. Great alternative for tart. They are soft though, so don't click them up like crazy. So then I call, I'm at my mom's house and you know, she's talking to me and I said, I, I think applying for jobs is gonna make me feel really good right now. Make me feel like I can like keep my mind busy, keep my hands busy. Ooh, they're minty. <laughs> okay. So for gloss, I have a couple here. I have the Huda Beauty Faux, f Woo! I have the Huda Beauty Faux, f Faux filler glosses. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. And I think we're gonna use both, cause why not? Maybe I can save these for like another video. I'm saving some of my new makeup for other videos. We're gonna go into the Butter Gloss Bling in the shade She Got Money. So I immediately think, I have a very small circle in my life. You know, some girls I know have, you know, like 35 friends. And I'm like, no, I just, I'm not gonna be inviting 35 people to like my bachelorette party or anything like that. That's just, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I have a few close people, none of them are rich, live by me. So I feel, I felt very alone, but I do have a friend that is a recruiter through a staffing agency. I called and I just said, hey girl, like, um, I need you to help me find a job. Her entire team is on it. So I just, knowing that I have their support is also really refreshing. And so she did the pre-screening. She's going to do some head hunting and whatnot. She's going to look for a job. Also, my lips are chapped, so these, <laughs> this doesn't look that great. Find a good palette. So I just want to use a neutral palette. We're going to use ColourPop 1111. And then I start applying for jobs and whatnot and all that stuff. And um, then I decide I'm ready to go home. Amazing about my husband, okay? He understands me more than anybody else. So I'm taking the shade protection right here. You know, he goes through my severance package. He reads it and he's like, that's okay. And I was like, what? Cause he's someone who seen him experience stress. And I thought that I was going to experience that again. He's like, well, it's okay. It's like, you didn't like it there anyways. <laughs> and I just laughed. He's like, these past couple of months, all you've been doing is complaining about it. He's like, I think this is a good thing. And it caught me so off guard because I was so anticipating um, him being stressed out like I was. He's like, well, you know, you got a really good severance to get money. <laughs> it just made me laugh because it's like, I didn't know that was what I needed, but I needed him to just like be okay with it. So I have been looking for remote jobs, um, hybrid remote jobs, and when I, and I've been really excited about it. I've been si excited about my future. And yeah, so I got up this morning and I had to go get an oil change. And so I get my oil change done. And while I'm sitting there, it was taking like so long, by the way, it took like an hour and a half, which ridiculous. But anyways, <laughs> I'm sitting there on my iPad, just like going on Pinterest and stuff. And I get this wonderful idea. And I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel. We're gonna go into the shade Perfect Harmony right here. What if I just change careers altogether? Because I have been applying for like project manager jobs, marketing jobs, kind of branching out and just, you know, basically I'm just gonna try everything and see what sticks and what I get a call from. So I've been on LinkedIn, I've been on Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Glassdoor, you name it. And then I'm also going through a staffing agency as well and just kind of utilizing as many channels as I can get. That's really pretty, isn't it? 
I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of put it on my lower lash line. So anyways, I getting my oil change and I just thought, you know, I've had this dream. <laughs> I, I would love to own a flower shop someday. I want something that I can be creative at. And I felt like at my job, I could, you know, have some creativity, but I also felt like I was very limited. We're gonna go in the shade Balanced. So I decided to absolutely shoot my shot because I'm at the point now where it's like, I'm not nervous to shoot my shot anymore. If, you know, if I shoot my shot and someone says no to something that I propose, then it's like, it wasn't meant to be. And that's okay. It's the most eyeshadow I've worn in a long time. But before I do liner and mascara, I do want to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Of course, it has like the weirdest stickers on it. There we go. This is supposed to be a dupe for like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer or Hydro Grip Setting Spray. It's just kind of like... <gasps> Ooh, what does that smell like? It smells like, I don't know. I feel like I'm spraying on too much. I feel like nothing's getting on my face. If you didn't know this about me, I've always wanted to own a flower shop, like I said. And I thought, you know what? What if I tried being a florist? And I messaged two florists in my area. One of them, which I've gone to since I was a child, I did and said, can you meet today? Ah. <laughs> and so I go into the shop. I'm not gonna say what it is or anything, but it's a shop that I've had flowers delivered to me before that I've literally gone to with my mom ever since I was little. And it just got a new owner a couple years ago. And you know, we're talking and um, I propose a lot of things that I can do even more than florists. So I go in, the first thing I see this woman doing is burning sage. And I immediately think, I like this woman <laughs> because I, I just thought that was amazing. And so I was offered just like a temporary job for the time being, you know, just to kind of test it out and just see like if I'm gonna like it. Cause I have no hands-on experience with like floral design or anything like that. But they're looking for someone for like a few areas of the business that they need to expand on. And I said, I, I wanna give it a shot. And so <laughs> I'm really excited because um, my seven-year-old self would just be so proud of me right now. Um, so I go in on Friday and I'm gonna work a full day there and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna just be shadowing right now, just kind of like taking it all in. And sh um, the business owner's like, oh, this is, this is kind of chaotic here. And I'm like, I was a server. <laughs> I was a bartender. I think I can handle chaos. That's something I am really good at handling is chaos and multitasking. I'm really good at that. And so, yeah, she was really excited and they were like, oh, we were just talking about saying that we needed someone. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. <laughs> um, you know, my work schedule would be kind of different than what it is now. I really want to do something more, sit and do my mundane job of things that I don't want to do, like entering ridiculous data into a spreadsheet and just, not I want to do something meaningful with my life and I want to do something creative. And that's kind of why I got into YouTube was because I want to do something creative with my life. And I also really like social media and I was doing social media as part of my full-time job as well as on my little YouTube channel, right? I use the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and then the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. I'm so excited. Um, I absolutely, you know, even if it doesn't work out, not going to be saying no to a lot of things right now. You know, looking back on it, I was so burnt out from that job that I was working. I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but I wasn't happy there. Um, even in February, I was applying for other jobs. I was interviewing at other jobs and whatnot and everything like that. So I think it's really, I think of life as sort of like a path. I see this as, you know, the universe is guiding me down a path and it's almost like, you know, my yoga teacher talks about this a lot. Honestly, I don't even know what I believe right now, <laughs> but what I, what was interesting is your healing spirits or your speech, spiritual guides almost guided me away from a job that was making me so tired, stressed out 
anxious, feeling like I was, I felt like I was constantly getting evaluated there. And I didn't like that feeling. And if I'm ever a supervisor someday, I never want to make my employees feel that way. But I, I really did feel it there. Um, there was a point where one senior manager at our company um, got mad at me and yelled in my face. I'm, I, I kid you not, yelled in my face. And it was about wanting to start someone out at a higher wage because they had experience. And this manager didn't like that. So I went to tell my boss, I was absolutely distraught about it. Later that year, this person is promoted. I'm, I, yeah, you know, there are other people who are almost just seen as like, mm, they're average, and then they don't get any sort of opportunities. And I don't like that. I'm not about that. And I've always been like, even, even when I was just like a regular gal, like being a freaking waitress, making $2 an hour with tips, I was really big on... There's no favoritism in the workplace. <laughs> I have Piglet here. Hi, Piggy. She wants to go on a W-A-L-K. You know, once this person, this manager got promoted, I was really done with my company. I just obviously forgive and forget. <gasps> you know, I, I want, what do you need, honey girl? Okay, we have Piglet up here. <laughs> you know, obviously I do want to um, forgive and forget. And I want to forgive, and I'm very big on forgiveness. Um, but that was something, it was like, I was not the only person that felt this way. This person um, was not a kind person. Um, and the act that this person is putting on now in their new role, it's like all performative, like don't kid yourself kind of thing. It honestly left a bitter taste in my mouth about this company, and I almost said the name. <laughs> And so in my new role, whatever this may be, if I become a full-time florist, um, or if I go into HR, or I go into marketing or project management, whatever it is, I don't want to experience that again. I'm giving her a belly rub while she's sitting up and she's really liking it. <laughs> Yesterday, I allowed myself to be sad. Um, I allowed myself to just be as I am. And then this morning, I didn't sleep well last night, but in the morning, this morning I woke up and I just felt relieved that I don't have to deal with these people anymore. I don't have to be constantly evaluated. I don't have to, I don't have to constantly worry or be stressed out about things that absolutely do not deserve my time. I don't have to worry about that anymore and I'm just so happy. All right, Piglet's done. I have a feeling that within a month, this my com the company that I worked for will post for another HR role, even though they said the role was eliminated. I don't believe them, but I just have to hope that there are bigger and better things out there for me. I think I have a hard time trusting the unknown, but I know I'm resourceful. I know I can find another job. And I've been through worse things before. I know I can do it. And part of, like I said in the beginning of the video, part of my, you know, not posting was I was so mentally and physically exhausted from my job. I don't want to feel like that anymore. Okay? I don't want to feel like my job is consuming my entire being because I'm more than my job. It was, I would cancel my yoga classes some nights because I'd be too tired to go and attend one. I would come home and just lay in bed because I was just so tired. I'm done with their BS, you know? So I'm looking forward to having a shorter commute. I'm looking forward to overall a new beginning for me. I think I see myself as more than just HR. I see myself as a project manager. I see myself as a marketing specialist. I see myself as a florist. And I want to do what makes my heart happy. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be back to posting videos. I'm going to do what I want to do on here. And I want your recommendations on what you want to see. Not every vi every video is going to be me testing out new makeup. Um, not everything is going to be me, 
you know, doing all that, but more of a low buy, no buy sort of thing, talking about hot topics, doing more like vlogs and vlog style content. I think that'll be really fun. And maybe we'll even talk about mindfulness and all of that. I don't deserve anything less. And what I was receiving in that place was less. Now I'm gonna take my dogs on a W-A-L-K. -okay. I can't say it or else they'll go nuts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a new beginning for me in all aspects of my life. And I'm so excited to be free in a sense from the grips of corporate America. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. Um, I wanna get back to five days a week, but I can't promise that right now. So I'll go ahead and see my next video. Bye. <laughs>